outside of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for... Your furry friends, Stinky and Jay! Hello, all you little animals out there. I am Stinky. And hop, uh, I am hop, Jake. Uh, Stinky, hop. what are you doing? Oh, I'm hopping. Hop, uh, hop. Uh, Why are you hopping? Because everybody is hopping, Jake. They are? Sure, just look out there. Look at everybody. All those little animals out there are hopping up and well, down. You're right. Everybody is hopping. Including today's guest, the kangaroo and the frog. When he's right, he's right. Hop. Hop. Come uh, on, Jake. You can hop, too. Come oh, on. Uh, Don't be uh, left out. Hop. Uh, hop. Uh, hop. Uh, we'll hop. be right back I'll help you. after this. Yeah. Hop, uh, hop, Polly, you want to stop with the hop, hop huh? Hop, it's time for... Hop, uh, hop. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Today, we meet the most dangerous frog in the world. A, a dangerous frog? That's right. The Kakoi frog may not look dangerous, but it is. This little frog protects itself with a poison that is so powerful, just a few drops could hurt millions. <laughs> Whoa, stay away from me. The Kakoi frog. Yet another one of those animals that'll make you say, yeah. That's amazing. Oh, Stinky, can we stop? I'm so tired. I'm me so too. tired. Oh, oh. Oh, you know, maybe we should leave hopping to animals who know how, like the kangaroo and the frog. Oh, no way, Jake. I am going to hop higher and farther than anyone has ever hopped. How? Oh. I have no idea. Well, our first guest might be able to help you. After all, the kangaroo is one of the best hoppers in the world. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. With their strong legs and long tail, they can travel as fast as 30 miles an hour. Uh, and kangaroos can jump as far as 12 feet in a single bound. Which is about 14 skunks laid end to end. That's about right. And now it's time to meet... All the way from Australia! Casey the Kangaroo. Good day! Well, I'll be a wallaby's uncle. Ooh. Isn't this place yeah. a sight? Uh, yeah. We haven't got the likes of this in the outback. Well, welcome, <laughs> Casey. I'm Jake. Uh, mm. Pleasure. <laughs> Hello, Jake. Uh, yeah. And that means this here must be Stinky. Yeah, I'm whoa. Oof. Oof. Sorry, Stinky. Are you kidding? That's the best hop I've seen him do yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad for a beginner. Thank but you. let me show you how hopping's supposed to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now. If you really want to be a good hopper, you've got to have good, strong legs like those, see? Well, what about your tail? I mean, it sure packs a wallop, but does it help you when you hop? Absolutely, mate. A kangaroo's tail helps us keep our balance, and our tail is also mighty good for sitting down. And believe me, you need to sit down all you can when you have a young Joey like that around. Oh, that baby kangaroo's name is Joey? Hey, Joey, how you doing? How's things happen? No, Stinky. Jo Joey is the name we call any young kangaroo. Well, gee, do you think it would help me hop if I changed my name to do Joey? <laughs> it's not in the name, Stinky. It's in the legs and the tail. Now, I have a question, Casey. Hop to it, Jake. Well, what do kangaroos do when you're not hopping? Oh, that's an easy one, mate. We kangaroos like boxing. Oh, boxing. <laughs> See those two over there? They're wallabies, members of the kangaroo family. Personally, I don't go in for that boxing. I'd rather be hopping. <laughs> yeah, me too. Thanks for helping me with the hop, Casey. Yeah, thank you for hopping by. <laughs> Good to meet you, Stinky. Oh, well. Been a pleasure, Whoa! Jake. Oh, <laughs> sorry again, Stink. Oh. oh, that's okay. That was even more fun than last time. <laughs> so long, you two. Bye-bye. <laughs> so Bye-bye. Bye. And now it's time to hop into Baby, Baby Talk. Okay, then, Mrs. Kangaroo, if you'll just excuse my cold hands here. <laughs> now, I'm just going to look inside your pouch. Mm -hmm. And what is this? Well, congratulations. It's a baby boy. Oh. Fine, bouncing baby boy kangaroo. Oh. Well, if it's a kangaroo, it'll be bouncing soon, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shall call him Jasper. All right, Jasper. Time for you okay, to leave. Oh, that's bright out here. Oh, mm. I'm hungry. Oh, I'm going to eat some of this grass. Isn't it delicious? Mm. Ma. Hey, Ma! Ma! Ma, I can't see! Ma! I'm just gonna have a look. I've lost my train set in here somewhere. 
You got a train set? Yeah. Oh, it's in here somewhere. Oh. I think it's on the bus. Oh, is oh, this oh, really man. necessary? Well, man, I just, I'm, I'm sure I left it in here oh, somewhere. Oh, all right. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, oh, I wish you'd clean up your room sometime, especially since it's in my pouch. Oh. Hopping sure is a lot of work. Mm. Now I know why kangaroos have those sleeping bags. Sleeping bags? Oh, you mean kangaroo pouches. Uh, yeah, right. So, have you given up on hopping? No, I'm, uh... I'm working on a secret plan to hop the farthest. Uh, well, before you hop into that, why don't we hop into this? <laughs> makes me want to hop till I drop. Well, then why aren't you hopping? Because I already dropped. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, hi, Tizzy. Hey, that means it's time for... Tizzy's quiz. Yeah. What's the quiz, Tiz? Here it is. Ooh. Most frogs lay their eggs in the water. But the question is, do all frogs lay their eggs in the water? Yes or no? Give it a thing. Back in the boat! Ooh, how have you been busy? Frogs, uh, uh, eggs. <laughs> I think they're ready to hear the question again. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh. And here it is. Do all frogs lay their eggs in water? Yes or no? The answer is no. Some frogs lay their eggs in trees like these frogs here. And some frogs even dig a hole for their eggs. Believe it! It's true, most frogs lay their eggs in the water. Have you ever seen little balls of jelly with dots in them? That's called frog spawn and will grow into tadpoles like these. Some frogs, like these foam nest frogs, lay their eggs above a pond. Then, when their babies hatch, they fall straight into the water. And here's a pig frog. It digs a hole near a pond, then lays its eggs. When its tadpoles hatch, mother pig frog digs a path down to the water, and the tadpoles slide down into it. Some frogs will carry their tadpoles on their backs, like these here. And when the tadpoles are old enough, they dip them into the water. And here's the amazing pouched tree frog. She keeps her tadpoles in a pouch on her back. When your tadpoles are big enough, she opens the pouch with her foot, and those tadpoles swim out. Believe it, because it's true. So, hey, Jake, frogs eat flies. Do I have to eat flies, too? Oh, of course not, Stinky. You're not a frog. Oh, well, I've been hopping so much, I forgot. <laughs> but but if you're a frog, you won't want to miss Eve Saint La Roche. <laughs> Bonjour, you little animals out there. Today, for all you frogs, I am going to make a fat fly pie. Wait, now, in order to make a fat fly pie, you will need a fat fly. No? Wait. <laughs> now, the best way to catch a fat fly is with one of these fabulous fat fly catchers. <laughs> Here comes a fly. Oh, and it sounds like a big fat one. <laughs> Oh, I missed it, but it was very close. But this is a sneaky fat fly, so I will have to try again. <clears throat> Yoo-hoo! Fat fly, come to Evie. 
Say on crayable, the fat fly has landed on my head. Ho, ho, ho. Well, I've got you now, monsieur fat fly. All I have to do is bring the fat fly catcher up slowly to my head and... Ah! Oh, oh. oh so you think you can outsmart Isala Roach to you, you flittering fat fly? Of course, if your fat fly catcher does not work, there is one other way you can catch a fat fly. Um. <sighs> of course, I only recommend this for those of you who like your fat fly pie without the pie. <laughs> well, bon appetit, everyone. And remember, if you know an old lady who swallowed a fly, call for help, because old ladies should never eat flies. Mm. Au revoir, stinky Jake. <laughs> Ew. I'm so sure glad eating flies isn't part of my secret plan. What is the secret plan? I can't tell you. Because it's a secret? No, because I haven't thought of it yet. Hmm, well, maybe our next guest can help you. Woo, I hear he's one of the greatest hoppers in the entire world. Right, so please welcome <gasps> Lipovich the Frog. One of the greatest hoppers? Oh, what do you mean, one? I am Lipovich, the greatest hopper Ooh. in the world. Wow, are you really that good at hopping? Good? I am not just good, I am great. I am Ooh. not just great, I am the greatest. Oh, in other words, you're pretty good. Exactly. Watch. Oh, okay. Now, to be a great oh. hopper, you must have strong legs, like so. Ooh. Yes. And how do you get strong legs? You must swim. Precisely, you swim, and oh, we love to swim, like so. But some frogs also have suction cups on their fingers. Well, I have paws. Oh, too bad. With suction cups like those, you can cling onto plants, trees, wet rocks, anything. Nothing can wash you away, not even big wave. Hmm. Whoa! Is there wow. more than one kind of frog? Oh, yes, there are many different kinds of frogs, but uh, none are as handsome as me. Oh, mm. of course not. <laughs> Ah, here, for example, is a frog from a place called Trinidad. Whoa, that's a beauty. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you see that frog? Oh, uh, what frog? I... Wait, I see him. Ah, oh. yeah, that is a horned frog from Malaysia. Hey, what kind of frog is that? Oh, that is not a frog. No, no, that is a toad. Frog, toad, there's a difference? Oh, yes. Toads are plump. They have dry skin, what? Ooh, and they even have poison on their body to keep other animals from eating them. Ooh. But between you and me, they are not as good jumpers as frogs. And, of course, uh, they're not as good looking as you. No, you got that right. Lipovich, have you always been a great hopper? Of course. Ever since I was knee-deep to a tadpole. Knee-deep. Get it? It's a frog joke. Uh, knee-deep, uh, knee-deep. Uh, roll film. Yeah. Ah, this is my homeland. I miss it. The days I spent playing hide and seek in the plants with my frog friends. <sighs> oh, uh, can you find a frog down there? No, I don't see any frog. Oh, oh wait a second. There he is. Ah, oh. see, we frogs will go anywhere to find water, from big ponds to the bottom of plants. Water, water. Oh, we love water. But sometimes we have to hop out. But why? Because I am uh, the, the greatest, greatest hopper, hopper in, in the, the world. <laughs> oh, you've heard about me. <laughs> well, now I will sing a song about hopping. <clears throat> da, 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 uh, da, da. Uh, Lipovich, da, da, da. Lipovich, uh, why don't you sing over there? Oh, hmm. good idea. <clears throat> yeah. Da, 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 da. Here is Lipovich the frog singing. Feeling froggy. Ooh. I'm an amphibian sort. No, I can't give you a what. Isn't this neat? Look at my feet, under my legs so short. Really can't tell you why. Think I'll go eat the fly. Feeling froggy. Feeling froggy. I got a lifelong bond. Here with this nice long pond. Think about it, I must admit, haven't seen much beyond. Maybe I'll make a dash. Maybe I'll take a splash. Feeling froggy. Feeling froggy. Just as easy as it sounds I got here by lips and bounds Come on over to my pad When you'll meet me You'll be glad and you'll find out It's not so bad Feeling froggy Oh, I don't mean to gloat Ain't this a pretty throat? 
It's how I make my noise, a sound the world enjoys. I guarantee you'll have a good time. Why don't you hop in? The water's fine. And later on you will be meeting my family. Everyone does. Look at my cousin sitting up in that tree. Every pool's a deep one. Every yell's a leap one. Feeling froggy. Feeling froggy. Cool, Lipovich. Thanks for coming, Lipovich. You were great. Not great. Greatest. <laughs> now that we've two of the world's best hoppers, it's time to find out which is really the greatest hopper in the world. I am the greatest. Here is today's Animal Award. Ah, that's right, Stinky and Jake. It's time to find out which animal is the greatest hopper. Ah. Is it the red kangaroo? Or the rock hopper penguin. Or the frog. Oh, look at that. In third place is the rock hopper penguin. In second place, the frog. And the greatest hopper award goes to the red kangaroo. Congratulations! Red kangaroo on can't be right. No, no we got no, company. No, it's got to be. No, 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 that no, can't be right. No, the red kangaroo. No, no, no. I am the greatest hopper in the world. Who's in charge here? I demand a recount. I demand a recount. Um, I think that frog is mad. <laughs> Take it away, Stinky and Jake. <laughs> Gee, Jake, I don't think the Lipovich was very happy about coming in second to the kangaroo. No, I guess not. He was probably... The... Stinky, what are you making? Hmm? Oh, you mean you've never seen a skunk launcher? A skunk launcher? Yeah! Uh, uh, come here, Jake, 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 Jake. Okay, this is my secret plan. It's how I'm gonna hop further than anyone has ever hopped before. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to hear a story? Yeah, sure. Good. Once upon a time, there were some little black dots which wanted more than anything to grow up and become frogs. But how could little black dots become big green frogs? Well, first they grew little black tails. Hey, they said, our black dots can be our heads. They wiggled and squirmed. Are we frogs yet, one of them said. I think we're tadpoles, said another. I don't know about you, said a tadpole, but I'm starving. So the tadpoles started to eat. You know what we need, said one of the tadpoles after finishing an especially big meal. We need legs. So they grew some legs. And then, after growing their legs, they started to swim to the top of the pond. And they swam and swam and swam, and they swam and swam and swam and swam some more. When they jumped on land and their tails fell off, they'd become exactly what they'd always wanted to be. Frogs. The end. Oh. Whoa, whoa, so they hopped up and down and lost their tails? No, actually a tadpole's tail just sort of shrinks away. Oh. Well, I sure hope this hopping stuff doesn't make my tail shrink away. Uh, you stay right there where you are, tail, okay? Is it there, Jake? I can't see it. <laughs> oh, boy, it's habitat time. Uh, all right, Armstrong, I know you're hiding in there. No, no, I'm not here. Yes, you are. No, no, I, you're I, in I there, out. Armstrong. I went out for a while. Come on. Armstrong? Uh, ah! uh, oh, all right. Now, come on. Uh, Today, we are going to my favorite place. Uh, you say that about every habitat. Why can't we ever go to my favorite place, huh? What's that? My nest. Um, maybe next time, Armstrong. But today, we are going to a pond. Yeah, whoop de doo And here it is. A pond. Oh, I just love ponds. What's the love? It's nothing but water and weeds and that thing. Ah, that's a newt. Newts spend spring and early summer in the pond. The rest of the year they hide away in cool places on land. Hmm. Oh, and you know what that is? Do I look like a bug expert to you? <laughs> it's a water measurer. Water measurers are so light they can walk on the surface of the water. Oh, yeah. hey, hey, Slim, how you doing there, pal? I, I think he's busy looking for food. Oh, oh, eh, I hate to be interrupted while I'm eating this. Sorry about that, buddy. Ah, it's eating a Daphnia. And if you look closely, you can see the water measurer's tongue inside the Daphnia's body. Yeah, thanks, but I'd rather not. 
And these are water hoppers, so called because they hop on the water. Hey, you know, uh, they might even uh, be better hoppers than that frog. Oh, oh, don't get Leapovich started. Yeah, he might come down here and eat the competition, huh? <laughs> hey, who? And there's a pond skater skating on top of the water. Huh. Look at that. Oh, he flipped. Hey, now what are we seeing? Ah, a whirly gig beetle. Talk about seeing. They have two pairs of eyes. One pair sees above the water and the other sees below the water. Strange orama. Oh, see those air bubbles? Each water glider has one on the tip of its body. That's where they get their air. Whoa, look at them go. They move so fast you can only see them clearly in slow motion. Eh, look at that. Hey, now, since when the dragons live in ponds? That's not a dragon. It's a dragonfly larva. The dragonfly are ferocious and will go after anything that's small enough to eat. All right, let's get out of here, huh? Sure wish we could stay around this pond all day, but we have to get back. For Habitat Time, this is Ollie the Tapir and... Armstrong? Oh, oh, where did you go? Are you hiding in here again? Come on! Hey, uh, what are you looking for? <laughs> Whoa! You're scarier than that dragon. Bye. Tizzy's here. And that means it's time for a quiz. Yes, it is. Well, what's the quiz, Tiz? <laughs> Kangaroos live in trees? Give it a think. Back in a buzz. Zoo. What was your guess? No or yes? Well, how about maybe? <laughs> maybe you need the question again. Zoo. Zoo. Here's the question. Do kangaroos live in trees? And the answer. Most kangaroos live on the ground, but some kangaroos do live in trees. That's why they're called tree kangaroos. Believe it, because it's true. Thank you, Tizzy, for another quiz. Yeah, and thank you, Ollie and Armstrong. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and you too, Eve. Goodbye, Stinky. Goodbye, Jake. <laughs> and a special, special thanks to those fantastic hoppers, Casey the Kangaroo and Leapovitz the Frog. And to all you little animals, until next time. Wait, wait a minute, Jake. It's time to use my skunk launcher. Now, I'm going to get over here. You just pull that lever, oh, oh, and I one... will become the greatest hopper in all the world. All right, Stinky, <laughs> but be careful. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> now that's uh, what I call whoa. hopping. Yeah! You okay? Great. Yeah, I'm fine. Say goodbye. Nice. Bye! Bye. Bye.